tell y'all, hey, I'm warming up my lunch right now. Let me get my all silverware. Ooh, the microwave just went off. I'm getting ready to go get it. I'm the, I'm a, I'll am tell y'all when I come back. Hold on one second. Let me go get my lunch right quick. Out the microwave. me y'all let me take a seat take a seat take a seat hmm. Ooh. excuse me just myself happy wednesday y'all happy it ain't wednesday guess y'all said what is wrong with you you just told us hump day yesterday <laughs> well happy thursday What's going on good with y'all today? I'm feeling good today, y'all. Feeling blessed. Let me say my grace and I'll tell y'all what I got. And what's going on with me today. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you, Lord, for blessing me to see a good day. And for everyone that has gathered here today, thank you for the gift, God. Thank you for the food I'm about to receive. For the nourishment of my body. In Christ's name, amen. So, yeah, y'all, I got a piece of cube steak. I cooked the other day. This was the last piece left. Amber left me one piece. And I got some zucchini and squash. Yeah, that's what I cooked the other day for dinner. So, y'all, let me tell y'all. I'm the long range up here today. But I don't mind. I don't mind. It was more people. Everybody, it was just everybody but one of us was up here yesterday. And um, this is so tender. Y'all like you say, I've been drinking on this and I have water and I'm tea today. I'm trying to get my fluids in. So, everybody, um, they let us return to work in flex. Um, but we have to work in the office three days a week. We had to sign saying, you know, we would adhere to the, the flex policy. And so we can work from home two days a week but everybody has to be up here on Wednesday so that was one of the reasons everybody was here yesterday and um you know he said he would like for people to be here but May is kind of hard because that's the end of our fiscal year you know somebody to be here every day because um, we try to burn up our vacation because the year ends um, May 31st. Now, I have, I can carry over one week, so I'm carrying over a week. But I got a week I got to take. I'll be here next week and the following week I'll be on vacation again. My girlfriend had asked me to ride to Atlanta with her one day. She's doing a turnaround trip. But, and I told her I might, but I don't know that I'm going to get a chance to go at all. Um, I'll think about it, though. I'm thinking about going this weekend to the Alice Al, Al, Alice in Wonderland exhibit Ever and I were talking about it at the Botanical Gardens if I feel up to the walking around you know that'll be something nice to do over the weekend but y'all the weather was nice <laughs> and I just said whoa because in the Memphis area, it'd be hot in May. And I just said, whoo, I'm surprised it ain't got hot yet. <laughs> Y'all, this heat that came in with a vengeance, a vengeance, and that humidity that came in right with it, right on with it. 
So, so yeah. Y'all. Y'all know I told y'all. I'm embarrassed. I'm going to do a little haul later on when I get home. So, y'all can see. <laughs> I didn't get a whole lot. Y'all gonna see what I got. Well, I told y'all, I had them free eggs, right? The coupon for the free eggs, the free stuff, Tito's, and $4 off a $4 purchase. Ask me why. I don't spend... $50 even with the coupons. And I had coupons on other stuff too. But I wanted some whole okra. I've been having a taste for some. And a couple other things I got at Kroger. But I'm just looking at Kroger and Walmart prices. Kroger is, is, is a lot higher than Walmart on a lot of things. I'm picking up on. But my pickup hadn't been working. I know since last year with Kroger. And this was the first time I was able to place the pickup order because I'm going to pick it up after I get off work. And um, I'm going to pick it up after I get off work so I can, um, by about, I'm going to leave here. I've been here. I got to live here a little bit late. I got here at 6.50 this morning. So I'm going to leave a little bit after 2. And I got my pickup schedule for three o'clock. And like I said, I'ma spend right at fifty dollars. And I already got all right. As we use stuff, I put it on the replenish list. If it's just something I feel like we need, I try to keep stocked up like ground be stuff like that. But I got a list already, a shopping cart already going for Walmart, but that's not we won't buy that till next week. So this is just like stuff I'll pick up Kroger's and some mid items that I didn't have on my Walmart list to do. And I'm gonna make me um I'm trying to get on low carb because next month I gotta go and do my um year. I can't believe it's been a year. In June I gotta do my year follow up appointment. And I want to try to lose a few more pounds before the end to see where I'm at. I haven't done an um, update in a while, so I'll probably try to come on after my year and tell y'all where I'm at and what I've done this year. It's been slow. I last few months, two months, two pounds here, three pounds here. It's been real slow. A lot of that has to do with me, too. I don't always eat the things I'm supposed to eat, even though I can't eat a whole lot. Junk food seems to have no problem. We're going down your system as much as you want, seem like. <laughs> but anyway. So what y'all got going on today? What y'all eat for lunch good? What you got? Good. You got something good and tasty? Like I said, I thought I'd come talk to y'all during my lunch break. Y'all, I cut that. I told y'all when I shopped the other week, I cut that zucchini up in the three sections, zucchini and squash in the three, and I put two in the freezer bag. I got four to two squash and two zucchini. So I got me two little, because, you know, I only cook a small portion. Amber don't really like the way I cook mine. When I smother it on the stove, she don't like it. So that's fine. I mean, she can cook her own if she wants some. Um, Kim... Inspired Life told me she put hers in the air fryer. So, Kim, if you're seeing this, tell me what you do to it when you put it in the air fryer. Because I'm going to try. I'm going to try. But anyway, so, I'm trying to do low carb. Get back to that. I know, I'm all over the place. And so, I'm going to make me a pizza casserole. So, I got some pepperoni and black olives. To make the pizza casserole and some pizza sauce. I'm going to make that this weekend so I can have that for lunch next week. And I have to be. I eat that with some type of cucumbers or vegetables or something. For my lunch. Green beans or something. You know. So I can have that. 
Do y'all take y'all lunch to work or do you buy lunch? Like I said, it's a cafeteria here. And I just looked the other day. I didn't realize the time flies. I've been in this job three years and something. And I haven't been to that cafeteria yet. Don't plan to go. And it's a break room. They used to have a vending machine in the break room. And I guess since COVID, they took that thing out. You know, so it's not even a... I imagine it's somewhere, it's one somewhere in one of these buildings. But it used to be a vending and drink machine over there, right? They, well, not that I was going to buy nothing out of it anyway. But they done uh, took the vending and the drink machine out. There. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Excuse me. I read this article this morning when I woke up. It had to be 4.53 or something. I was looking at the... On the it, I had a not Google notification on my phone. And I don't know why, but they were talking about these couple that had retired. Now, they were in their 50s. They're like their early 50s. And they were saying how they had retired. Apparently, I guess they had a house somewhere. I don't even remember where the house was they had. And they were talking about, you know, how much it costs to live there. And apparently, it's cheaper for them to live on a cruise ship. And they've been living on a cruise ship since, I think it was November 2021, right? And I had read a couple of, uh, before the pandemic, about two older people that had retired and was living on the pandemic. I wonder what they did after they you know, after the crews shut down for a period of time and they couldn't live there. So that's what I'm saying. I wonder, do they worry about, you know, what if they shut down again, but they had chosen to live because they wanted to travel, you know, in their, in their, in their retirement. And like I said, they're in their early 50s. They're not even 55 is what I think I remember reading. And so they travel around on this cruise ship, right? And that's what they do. They cruise and they say it's actually cheaper a day. It's less than $30,000 a, a year or whatever for them to do the cruising, her and her husband. So, and I was wondering, you know, but you got to think about medical and do you get off? Do you have a home station or, but that would defeat the purpose if you have a home station and you have to pay those bills, you know, too. I don't know. But I guess they made smart choices with their money, you know. And with that said, y'all, our next cruise, which I paid the down payment on today, I did do that. Now I told y'all, I don't mind cruising, but I really am. Um, don't know about this one. It's, it's a little bit more costly for me. Because we're going to do it a little bit different for her 30th birthday, and it's leaving out of Miami this time. So we're going to have to catch a flight because I'm not doing no driving to Miami. I'll be older then. Not to say I won't unless I fall madly in love or something like that, y'all. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say something to that too. Anyway, so I uh, paid the down payment on this day, which will give us 18 months or so to pay for it. You know, so we'll pay for that over time. And that's how we do our vacation. So if y'all want the cruise details, let me know and I'll leave that. You know, feel free to join us. Like I said, you'll have 18 months to pay for your cruise and you're welcome to join us on the cruise and I'll leave all the information and you know for you or leave it in a future video in the description box if you want to call and book your cruise, you know, to join us on the cruise. But anyway, yeah, I thought about something yesterday, right? And I heard this girl kept calling her Bay this and Bay that. And I said, what is that man's name? <laughs> I don't even know the man's name. <sighs> so it's so funny. And I thought about every relationship I've been in, including my marriage. I never, I don't know if men like that. But, and oh, then I saw the TikTok, right? And she said, I'm going to call my husband by his name. I saw several TikToks like this. And the husband was like, am I in trouble? Am I mad or whatever? So it was funny. But I never called my husband or any of my relationships. I may have said, baby, do this or something every now and then. But I always called them by their name. 
So if their name, I'm going to use this for example, if their name was Harry, I called them Harry. Say their name was Harry Daniel. My endearment thing, you know, I know people you say, people call your whole government name when you're in trouble. But I would say, come on here, Harry Daniel. Come on here with yourself, with your fine self. You know, I would just say something, but I would call them by either their first and middle name. And sometimes, and I do Amber like that sometimes too, but it's always endearment. I never did call her by her full name when she was in trouble, really. It was always, you know, and my family never did either. They called me Donna Jean, you know. And I just answered to her. They called me Jean sometimes, you know. So it's so funny, you know, like I said, every now and then. And the one time I did have a nickname for a person I was with, he called me something, and I called him Cletus every now and then. But for the most part, I called him by his name. So, and Cletus wasn't even close to his name, y'all. I was just, I don't know what I started calling him Cletus. But <laughs> I never, and even if they had nicknames before, you know, they met me. Like, and my father had a nickname. I never addressed him by his nickname. Because I'm like, no, you grown. I called him by his name. So it's so funny. And every now and then, even for my daughter, you know, like I said, I'll call her Amber J or Amber Janice or Amber, you know, call her by her last name, you know. And um, it's so funny, uh, but it's not because she's in trouble. I said, girl, if you don't come on here, and it's just so funny. So that's the mind endearment thing. So do you call your, your spouse or your significant other, bae, bae, honey, boo, boo? You know, is that your thing? Or do you address them by their name? Or is there, you address them by their name only when you mad or upset or they in trouble? Anyway, y'all, that's just a little something there. I'm going to get off of here because I'm done eating my lunch. <laughs> I'm going to uh, go and rinse this bowl out and get on back to my J-O-B and get back to work. So I really don't take a long lunch break. I just eat and go on back to work and do what I got to do. And it's so quiet up here. Like I say, it's just me today up in here in my office. Anyway, it's people in the building because someone came in here uh, late earlier and I talked to her for about 10 minutes. But, uh, you know, it's other people in other apartments next door to me and stuff. But. I'm in my department. You know, they're working. If I need something, they're working from home. But um, I'm up in here today as a Lone Ranger. Anyway, thank y'all for joining me and spending my lunch break with me. I want you to know you love. I love you, but God truly loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. And I'll come back on later on and show y'all my little old mess I done done. Girl, I'm supposed to be getting some free eggs. Bye, y'all. Love you. Bye.